Hi to folks, hope you're doing well and staying safe. I made a video about four months ago on tips and tricks on submarines. It was a bit of sarcasm. I even said it in the video thumbnail, insert sarcasm here. Submarines in the right hand, the right person is overpowering. I personally am over 70% win ratio in all submarines. I have been like that. I'm closer to 80%, which means in the world of World of Warships, I'm a super unicom player, even though I'm a 49% player in win ratio. I have just attached myself to these, these vessels. They're pretty simple. I want to go through and show people in more detail of how not to get killed and how to play submarines, including pings, torpedoes. The torpedoes I'm going to show you this will probably blow your mind away when you see it if you didn't know about it. I want to show you how not to get airdropped because you should be airdropped. There's no play for airdrop cruisers and battleships that can actually hurt you if you do the right thing. And the first thing to start off with are the pings and how to ping and when to ping and which direction and how you should be facing. That's how to avoid airdrops and depth charges. Depth charges are the most important thing because that's the one that can kill you. Airdrops, they shouldn't be able to see you. Any submarine has three to four kilometers over an airdrop, so you can ping and shoot torpedoes and get away with it. Commonly what people do in, in the game, as we sit here and go through it, they're going to head straight at the, at, the, at the ship, they're going to make sure they go full speed ahead, and they're going to ping, and there's the white line, and there goes the ping. A ship sees your ping go past them and sees the white line. If you're in range of an airdrop, you're going to get dropped in front of that ping because they're going to assume you're going forward. I always try to tell people, don't do this. What's happening right now, this is a training room. Don't keep going forward. This is not the angle you want to ping at or shoot torpedoes. And I'll explain why in a second with torpedoes. First and foremost, what are the next ways that I personally do? Uh, you might have a cap in front of you, especially you saw in the other video of me harassing the heck out of a destroyer with U-69. Bending torpedoes around islands. Ugh. Ping from behind because now you're going backwards. They're going to drop depth charges in front of that white line. That's what 99.99% of people do because they can't see you. So you back up. It's really easy to do that way. The other one that I like, especially if I'm in a, uh, trying to attack people, I'll go on a 45 degree angle, either forward or backwards. So I'll have a, you can go a little battery. Either I'll have the ship on my side. Now, as you ping, you're going full speed. Look at the white line. You're leaving it behind. They think you're in front of that going forward. You're already getting away from them. And I'll show you later on how to evade depth charge attacks and other attacks and airdrops. Depth charge and airdrops, same thing. So when you do this, you're running away. If they drop an airdrop, even if you're in range of an airdrop, they're going to drop it over where you were. And you're not there. And the cool thing is I want to show you torpedoes. You don't have to launch torpedoes. Now, I just ping the ship again. If you looked at the mini map, I'm facing 90 degrees. He's off my right side. 90 degrees. All you have to do is just ping him. You don't even have to ping, to be honest with you. Just launch the torpedoes first, or launch a torpedo like I did here, and then ping them. I have two pings on here already because I'm, 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 uh, I'm bad that way. It's a training room. But watch what happens. The actual torpedo, if you look at the mini-map, is starting to curve. No kidding. These are ad-cap torpedoes that we have in modern-day U.S. submarines today. As we fast forward, and we're still pinging, look at the mini-map. The torpedo has completely turned. There it is. 90 degrees. So you can ping like this and shoot like this and don't have to go bow in. If you're going bow in, you're kind of doing it wrong. Boom. That's a free hit. That's too bad. And the next one I want to show you is even worse. So here I am 90 degrees, but I'm just a bit. So I'm not 090 off my left side. I'm about 95 degrees off. This is about the maximum you could get it that I've seen so far without any kind of control. So you could be running parallel to a battleship or a cruiser and they don't know where you are. Again, you don't actually have to shoot your torpedoes directly at them or bow on. I'm just going to shoot one, and I'm going to show you the consequences. Now, imagine me going full speed, him going full speed. If you're a battleship and you're seeing this, turn to port. That means turn left. Get away from it so that way you have ability. Or if you DC, if you DC, he's going to still keep hunting you down. If you don't, look at the torpedo now on the minimap. I've turned at about 95 degrees off, and here it comes. This is a free hit. Again, this is how you might want to consider launching torpedoes. I think it's pretty relevant. This is what I do now in the game. And boom, eventually one dead ship. Not to mention you can also turn right to disengage if they start trying to hunt you down. This applies to cruisers, destroyers, everything else. So I've got, in this segment, I've got Navy Chick, one of my uh, clan members. She's in her T-61. I know a T-61 will never see a U-2501. That's a tier 6 to a tier 10. Doesn't matter. This is a destroyer that she's very familiar with, but I want to show you. Mutual spotting, I got us in close. I went down, I'm not within mutual attacks at two kilometers. I'm outside of that, I went down. I can't see her and she can't see me. But I can see, and it looks to be her maximum with the tier 21 captain, 
her uh, range being detected by air is 2.7 kilometers. So now I can see her. I believe that's how it works in, I've seen so far, is whatever your maximum range is, cruises, battleships, destroyers, by air, and I'm at periscope depth, that's what I can see. To Navy Chick's point of point, this is what she's going to see. Mutual detection. Okay, now I know right now people would be docking, docking, hitting me. This is just a training room. I'm just trying to give you examples on how this would work. Now, from this point of view, at mutual detection, no hydro up, right? I dive down, just let it go down to point number three, which is 30 meters, or almost just over 100 feet underwater. Can't see me and I can't see her. Pretty straightforward, right? Okay. I hit my hydro, last 30 seconds. I can now see her. Remember the technique I just showed you with torpedoes? If that destroyer was moving and you're moving, ping it and dump, just dump torpedoes. Let the torpedoes do their job. You saw in the previous video, if you watched it, I had the torpedoes do a complete S-curve around the island and back to destroy the destroyer. It wasn't that hard. It's a very simple technique. Even if I go down to the 60 meters, which is almost 200 feet, boom, there you go. You still see the ship, but she can't see you. There are some spooky parts here I'll get to in a minute. Now, moving forward and looking from Navy Chick's uh, direction, here I am right now. And I'm just, I'm just going to start diving here in a second here. And then I'll be at a mutual detection. The whole thing about this is if you're detected and you're not sure and you do have the hydro, go down. I'm going to show you how to avoid different attacks, but get underwater. That's your best friend. The yeah, same applies to aircraft carriers. I've had aircraft carriers try to do the exact same thing to me trying to find me and I'll dive and I'll go after the aircraft carriers. And yes, in subs, I love to go after aircraft carriers. Now, Navy Chicks just hydro me. I'm outside of mutual detection and she can see me. Here's something you need to know about hydro machines, sorry, hydro ships. I went down to 30 meters. I'm outside of mutual detection at two kilometers. She can't see me, even with hydro on. Now I'm gonna move up here a bit and you'll see how it works. As soon as I get within two kilometers of her, which you don't want to be, you should be turning away and going to, you know, to port left or starboard right and going deep and leaving. Let the story work at it, but now she can see me again. I'll even go down deeper and she's still going to see me. There's nothing you can do in mutual detection unless you put up your, your ship's hydro, which is the letter T you can see right there. And you get a general idea. If you're going to get into a, a roaring fight with a destroyer at this point, you want to have it up. Take a point, go to the opposite direction. If that destroyer on my screen is going... To the left, you want to go to the right. You want to get out of hydro as fast as you can. From Navy Chick's point of view, this is what she sees. Someone spotted her. She hits the hydro because there's nothing around her. It's got to be a sub. So now you detect it. Now you can go off and attack. We're almost assuming, I know. We're just standing here and doing our thing. But that's how it works for Navy Chick. But when I hit that part and I go under again, from her point of view, I've disappeared. But you know where the submarine is. You just have to close in a couple of kilometers. You turn, and as a destroyer player, you go straight for it. Do not worry about it. I know Wargaming said there's no such thing as, and I quote, air quotes, shotgunning. Yes, there is, but that doesn't matter if you jump a submarine. It might not know you're there if you're smart. Okay? Now I've moved into mutual detection. She can see me. I can't see her. Pretty scary if you're a submarine. Like I said, if she's moving, if she was moving and going to the right here where her nose is, her bow, you go to the other side. You head back towards the, your right which is her left, and kind of go away. Now here's us doing a, a attacks on a submarine and how to avoid them. There's some common mistakes that people make, I've noticed. So here's a hydro attack. She's got within range, I can see her, she saw me, or sorry, I saw her first, and then it's like, wow, she can't see me, so she hit her hydro. Now she's in mutual detection of me. I can't get the hydro off now, but there are ways to get around this. These techniques are actually basic from World War II U-boat operations, and they're still used today my knowledge. I haven't been in the Navy in decades, but we had diesel boats way back when. So if you're going to get depth charge, and there are warships with depth charge, this is what you would do. Again, I can't maneuver around it. Just give it some time. Be patient. Put your hydro up. you got 60 seconds. Now you know where, the, where Navy Chick is. She's going to get closer and closer, and I'm going to show you her perspective of this attack. Again, she can see you. And by the way, I didn't realize this open water. There's a range right there I was going to run into. I didn't know that was there. Good job, board gaming. I think it's awesome. But now you're heading away. Even if she turns to her left and tries to depth charge you, you've already turned away. You can out turn destroyers. Now, am I going to get damage? Of course I'm going to damage. And I'll get to that in a bit of how much I got. It wasn't that bad. Hit my repair and keep moving away. You want to get out of uh, uh, hydro range. Once you're out of hydro range, go the opposite way. Or go left or go right. Don't stay in the path you're in. You want Because that's what she's going to try to catch up on that path. Go 45 degrees right, 45 degrees left. From Navy Chick's point of view, Dazzle just kicked in, and she's detected. Again, there's no one on mini-map. 
there can't be one behind you because you wouldn't be detected. You're heading away from it. It's got to be in front of you. It's a sub. Put it on. Now, this submarine's already heading away. If a submarine's coming at you, most likely as soon as it launches its torpedoes, hit your damage control. But keep charging it, hit your speed boost, and get over top of it. This is how you kill it. Now, you can't shoot me. That's what the X impossible is. I'm too deep. So no damage from your guns. But you can still see me. And Navy Chick is starting to drift to the left. If you notice, she's trying to anticipate that I'm going to go to the left. She did a pretty good job here. Now, she's not trying to kill me per se, but she's trying to be as accurate as possible and show you how this works. And what's important to me right now is show you how much damage I took. I didn't take real depth charge uh, damage. I took what's called splash damage. And from my point of view, now my hydro's up. You notice my hydro's not showing her as being detected? I'm now turning. Now I can see her and making my turn. I'm getting away from her. Look at the depth charges are going to the left. I'm now heading away from the depth charges and attack. Even if she turned left, I would still keep turning left and remove the depth charge. As soon as she finishes her depth charge attack, I turn to the right and go back under her. Splash depth charges. I'm going to get damaged, but Copy. only 3,200, almost 3,300. Not much. Not like being completely destroyed. Now, here's an example of a submarine that's at periscope depth. And you're trying to go along, and as far as you know, the world's a happy, sunny place. You may have battleships in front of you, and you're trying to attack them. All of a sudden, boom, on your mini-map, someone shows up. Now, not mutual detection, but it's a DD. This scenario is very real, and this has happened to me probably hundreds of times where a DD is always spot up. Now, DD knows I'm there. This is the scenario with no hydro. The DD knows that whatever it's attacking is in front of it. It's got to be a sub. So he's gonna, she's going to close. Now, immediately, I'm going to be a little bit of uh, a fake here. I'm going to let her come into mutual detection. I'm detected, right? You know that you can't be seen when you go down to the third level of 30 meters. I'm not detected. Turn. I don't care if you go left or right. Navy chick either has to drop her depth charges by going left, by going straight, or going right. So she has to make that decision of what she wants to do. And she is going to get a good drop off here, but I'm going to show you how a bit more of a technique. You can actually start turning right. There's the depth charges. Now, I'm not, you know, spoiler alert, they're not going to hurt me at all. I'm actually coming around. If this was me in, in a game and that happened, I'd be coming around to put torpedoes into this, this destroyer. And I would kill this destroyer. All you have to do is hit your hydro when you want to, come around, start pinging it, Go to periscope depth if you want, but make sure it's more than two kilometers away. And then put torpedoes out. You put torpedoes out left and right. So that way it's a spread. Either one hits it or two hits it, or you go left, you go right, and the, tor the destroyer runs in your torpedoes. Again, here's the same scenario. She knows she's spotted. It ain't behind her. It's got to be in front of her. So it's got to be a submarine. Now, again, you put your hydro up, your speed boost. I would personally put speed boost up here and put my hydro, but that's not what we're doing. We're assuming we don't have that. We don't have hydro. We don't have speed boost. But you keep closing it. You, you keep closing or look for the ping. Just because a submarine pings you doesn't mean torpedoes are on the way. And now you know the submarine's heading away from you. It's U-2501. She's got no stern tubes. So that's another thing. American submarines and some other submarines have stern tubes. Again, they take a while to arm, so you can actually close the distance and maneuver. Okay? And, and do really well. So now I've gone deep, uh, deep rather. Sorry. She's actually going to go over my position. She doesn't know which way to go. Because I'm not knowing which way to go, she just had to go straight. But as I told you, I'm already making that turn, and there's going to be no damage on me. These are the easy ways of actually playing a submarine to be more effective. Submarines have, uh, in my opinion, two things they're good at, standoff and sniper. This is me uh, mapping into two brothers. I got a great video coming out of how to snipe in this channel, the submarine. And uh, that's a different video that I hope you guys watch. But I hope this is actually helpful for you guys. I hope you really learn stuff. Um, how to stay out of airdrop position, how to get away from airdrop positions and think it does take time. Same with depth charges and how to deal with destroyers. They can see you, you can see them. But there's certain tactics that you can do, and I hope that was helpful in this video, to show you how to get away from it and what to do. The only overall goal I have with this video is to expand from the one I did four months ago and show that you don't have to just rush in. Take the two alternatives. Be a sniper or be someone who's going to be standoffish. But don't ever give up and don't expose yourself. The whole thing about a submarine, be stealthy and be secret. So, as always, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video if you want more like this. But as always, stay safe, take care, and uh, I wish you all the best. So, bye for now.